Hello everybody, Lego Buddies here. Today I'm going to show you how to take apart and reassemble the V-Cube 4. And taking this, well, doing this is pretty straightforward. So the first thing you're going to do is pull open a space like this and just pull out either one of these that you can. Sometimes this middle piece will be uh, over to one side or another a little bit, so uh, usually only one work. And then uh, you're going to want to take this piece and it helps if you kind of twist it a bit and just pull this out. And now you're going to see this inner piece right here. Let's turn the light on. And you're going to just move that over with your thumb and then take this piece out. And do the same thing with this piece, but it'll be easier. And from here, just uh, take this out. Let's see. This one. There we go. And I see these inner pieces are getting out of alignment. So we'll just put, push that back. And then I can take this piece out. And take this piece out. And eventually, we'll just have all these pieces falling out. There we go. There we go. And yep. There we go. The piece just popped out. That's what we want. There. And now from here, you can get these this little inner piece out. This one just fell out, and those corners fell out, and this came out. And just continue doing this. Uh, from here, you can pretty much just grab these pieces and they'll fall out. If you're doing this on a desk like me, you can make sure they don't go flying everywhere because I've almost lost a couple pieces like that. There we go. And it will just completely fall apart. And here is the core. And if you notice, this has an interesting core mechanism with all these uh, pieces that uh, come out of this piece. So this actually rotates around here. And this little bump keeps the piece in alignment because of this little gap. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, go check out some other videos, but I'm not going to go into detail. So if you want to disassemble the core, or if you're assembling the core for the first time, uh, then uh, you can just unscrew this. Uh, make sure you get the spring in there, and then the screw, and make sure you have one of these uh, things in there, and just screw it in. These different uh, gaps, they're different sizes, so it'll be very hard, if not impossible, to put it in the wrong way. And yeah, so. Once you have a core like this, we're going to be sorting out the bigger pieces, which are this corner, the big corner like that, and then these inner edge pieces. It'll make it easier if you just sort those pieces out. Um, here we go. And the reason we're sorting these pieces out separately, well, especially the corners, is because uh, we're going to put the corners in correctly and all the other pieces randomly and that way uh, it will just, it'll be solvable when you solve it. And you don't have to go through the long tasks, tasks of having to put it together uh, solved. So I have all these pieces sorted out. I'll push these out of the way. And then down here, I got all my corners. You just simply face them towards you so they will be easy to find. I'll move these over here. And now we will begin. So to start, you're gonna get one of these pieces and kind of snap it up and lock it in place. Just can't be careful if it don't bump it or anything, this will fall off. Do that with another one adjacent to it. There we go. Now I'm going to grab one of these larger edge pieces and just slide it right there in between there. And grab two.
two of these smaller inner pieces, the only other types, the only other pieces that don't have stickers on them, and slide it in between there, just like that. We'll do the same thing with this one on the other side. Oh, there we go. And be very careful with this. I have had it uh, fall apart. And just a tip, if you're putting this together, uh, uh, I recommend putting it at the tightest tension because otherwise it'll just fall apart. And even then it is a bit loose while you're solving it, but it's the best you can do. So now, as you can see, I'm doing another one perpendicular to it. Um, I'll just carefully slide that piece around. Then just simply pop the other one in. There we go. And now, wait, that's out of alignment. There we go. Position the one with the two ones coming out of it like that on the bottom. Then get uh, one of these pieces like this and slide it on there just like that. Then grab two edge pieces and just hook one on just like that. And hook the other one on just like that. Okay, so now you're going to grab one of these larger corners, well actually it's the only corners, and we're going to be putting all these pieces, all these corners in uh, adjacent to each other. So uh, all the white sides will be on the bottom, uh, and then the red side, the other four corners, will have red right there and green right there, and yeah, you'll get it. <laughs> and so simply get two more of these pieces, and if, if it's the one with the little bump, if you have a little bump on there, it may be a bit difficult to get it in, but it's not that hard. And then do that with the other piece. There we go. Now we're going to grab another edge piece and just slide it on just like that. And grab one of these larger pieces, edge pieces, and put it on there. Zoom in. Now we're going to grab two of these smaller inner pieces, these ones, and just slide it on there, just like that, right into there. And then the other one also slide on there. There we go. And if we zoom back out, oops, you'll see that we have another, well, we have one uh, eighth of it uh, put together. And what you do next is just repeat the, this exact same thing on all the other corners. So I will see you when I have it like that. Okay, so I am putting in these last few pieces of the second to last oops, uh, section. And so what you're going to do right here is, if you were to just put in this piece right now, it would be very difficult to get the corner piece in. So we're just going to get this last corner and fit it in there. And then, very carefully, grab this piece and stick it in right underneath there. And maybe a bit difficult to do, but you're going to get these pieces, last two ones, and stick them in. There we go. And there we go. And now we can just keep building up. And just put that piece in like that. And now all you have to do is solve it. Okay, so I guess I will see you later then. Bye!